so it's Wednesday and we find, just made it into the UN. We queued for about half an hour, 45 minutes to make it in. It's the last day we can make it in. Um, there's only four of us here from the UK delegation. And yeah, it's time to head in and see what we can do. It's all a bit weird. It's very calm in here now compared to outside. And it's warmer. Good sign. <laughs> We just found out that a couple of really important organisations, NGOs, have lost that have been debatched of us and f Friends of the Earth, which is just massive and, and outrageous, really, when all the business lobbies are in here, everything like that is carrying on. It's crap in here today, there's no like youth. It's really different, really boring, really quiet. We actually can't get in any of the negotiations today, um, so we can't be there. We can't take part in the process, we can't see, we can't hear. Basically they're just closing all the doors on us and deciding our future without us. Um, we're heading to an actions meeting. Um, it's our final chance to be here in the negotiations um, and we've basically got to be shit hot. We need to know what's going on, what groups we're working with and where we can be most effective. So we're going to go to this action meeting, get a policy briefing and find out where, what we're going to target. We've just come outside where it's absolutely freezing. We're going to go to the Greenpeace Globe for a little actions meeting. Um, our numbers have been massively reduced um, of young people here, so we need quick thinking and quick reactions and we've got to be on the ball. Well, last night they were negotiating till probably nearly six in the morning on a, one of the two sections they negotiate on. Um, they came out with a text that basically nobody's happy with, nobody wants it. The USA tried to bracket, which means like put maybes around the whole thing. Um, basically it's just not going anywhere, it's a complete mess, it's, it's chaos. We've just found out that Connie, the president of um, this whole process, has resigned. She's reading on the emails now, apparently she submitted a letter of resignation and the Danish Prime Minister has appointed himself as president of this process. Um, and she has been appointed special representative of the presidency to conduct the informals and the negotiations. Um, and that the presidency will propose two texts for the outcomes um, in both the different sectors they're negotiating. So that means two whole new texts that will be proposed to be negotiated around. Sounds like a bit of a fault. begs the question what they've been doing for the last two years. If we're just going to throw out everything they've been doing and propose two new texts. The only thing that really uh, matters now is that these leaders, 115 of them, who have for the last two years known that we were on a particular path to get to Copenhagen to deliver a fair, ambitious and legally binding treaty. That's what they agreed in Bali, that's what they must deliver here. Um, I think we're only in here for a couple more hours, so uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully we can hang on a little bit longer. I'm feeling really tired. Um, I've just taken like an energy sweep, because um, I know like, next hour... Sweep. next hour and a bit. I'm going to have to give it all up we've got. We're kind of itching to do something and try and have an effect really. I know I was speaking to Emma about that earlier because it's been quite a disempowering feeling the whole day and there's a lot of media here and it would be great to just, just do something so let's see what happens. So this is the beginning of the in, um, International Youth Climate Movement Action. It's the last day that a lot of us will be in plenary um, so we're doing a massive sit-in um, and blocking the space um, and hoping that we can get our message across that we will not leave um, the UN until we have a fair, ambitious, legally binding global agreement. Alessandro Vica, Alessandro, Alessandro Coppola, Alessandro Coccone, yes. Can you just explain to me um, what, who are all these Alessandros that you are reading some out? of the 11.6 million names of the individuals all over the world that are calling for a fair, ambitious and legally binding treaty here in Copenhagen. I'm not sure they can get it and I'm not sure their voice is here, so I'm letting everyone that's here know what they want and who they are. So right now I just finished Colombia and Costa Rica and I'm on to Italy. Brilliant. Alessandro Fornasari, Alessandro Marini, Alessandro Paolo, Kai Ming, Dr. Tony Ebergard, Annabelle Boxley.
I think we'll probably be kicked out at seven. Or not, yeah, or at least they'll try to, and that's why we're trying to take a stand to make sure civil society watches and acts to ensure world leaders can't just block us out and that we make sure they, they reach a fair and survive. It's coming up 25 to 1, and we're still in the UN. <laughs> um, and we just um, bumped into Ed Miliband, who just happened to be walking past our sitting that's going on with all these people down here. Um, We've been sitting here since five o'clock this afternoon. Yep. Um, it's the big youth finale inside the COP negotiations, and it's probably better than anything we had planned. And it's gone really, really well. And there's lots of different youth from all over the world. We're camping out, we've made a snowman, three beers, <laughs> and Senator John Kerry came past to congratulate everyone. And it's going quite well, we just hope to be here all night. Judith Adamson, Ukraine. Right, so we've just been told, like, just about 25 minutes ago by security that they were going to. Uh, they wanted us to leave, so we just had to have a quick snap meeting where we were trying to work out whether we were going to leave peacefully um, or whether we were going to um, you know, um, be forcefully removed. Of course, the media is not here anymore, um, which is what we kind of suspected they were waiting for. Um, we've decided as a group that we're going to be leaving peacefully, and we don't think it helps um, the movement to be um, having any potential for negative stories. So yeah, we're just packing up and we're really, really quick. <laughs> we'll let you know more later. Single file people if possible. Abdul, Abdul Rahman, Sudan. Christine, Samsung, Suriname. Zia, Hapal. So we're leaving the UN conference, we've been calling for a fair, ambitious and legally binding deal, not just today but for many, many months with many people from all over the world to protect our planet and to protect the most vulnerable people. And we're leaving peacefully because we think that civil society should be here for the rest of the negotiations. And our job here is done now really, it's now time for the world leaders to try and put that deal in place. And for us we'll be going back home. <coughs> doing what we normally do, helping to build a movement, being strong, hoping that one day we can make the change.